Tim Brando on the Out of Bounds Show and the Farm Bureau Insurance Guest Line. Uh, this is ESPN 105.9 The Zone. Timmy B., I remember when you would come through, I think I've got this right, in the 80s, to and cover and call college baseball at Duty Noble Field right after Raffi and Will had left Mississippi State, and ESPN yep. was doing a, a, you know, some games here and there. Do I have that right? Oh yeah, yeah. If you watch the, um, <clears throat> if you watch the documentary that they did on um, the Thirty for Thirty series, uh, Thunder and Lightning, I'm all over it. Yeah, <laughs> and we were doing those games at Duty Noble behind the backstop. They didn't have a press box back then. <clears throat> that's that's true absolutely true and uh sunday night college baseball was a staple we also uh just to to be um to be fair and make sure that Ole Miss gets taken care of uh tim mcgraw's dad tug and i did the um uh, first college baseball game ever played at swayze uh when they built that in 1990 the 89-90 season i think it was maybe the 89 summer of 89 maybe uh, Kentucky played Ole Miss. Uh, Don Kessinger's son was was playing at that time. This was before Kessinger was coaching, but but uh, his son was on that team. Keith, I believe, was his name. And I remember doing that game with Tugger and uh, his son Tim, who was going to Northeast, which is where I went to school before it became ULM. He drove over with some cassette tapes to play for his father that he had only met. Uh, one other time, the second time he ever saw his dad that he, because he didn't know uh, until he was up in years who his dad was, uh, he lived over in um, outside the Ravel area and uh, he drove over with his cassette tapes and he played them for us. And Tug said, what do you think of my kid? I said, I, I think he should leave school and go to Nashville right now. <laughs> That's a true story as well. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bounds Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. On ESPN 105.9. The Zone.